Um, take a look at my screen if you go to <laughs> Jitsi. Okay, quick overview. So, so you see the big picture of the. There's another document called Seed Home Two Part Library. I just pasted it into the table of contents of the working doc for this this day, which is day five. So, part library walls. Now you know that's not our current model. We explored this one. It's uh, that's not the one. We have a double door like that, but the windows are at the front. This was from another model we were developing. Uh, so you can see how that goes. Uh, nothing. Let's see what what's to be mentioned about here. You see the plywood is on the exterior plywood is on the. Let me go into present mode. Exterior plywood is on the bottom. So like when when we're starting to build this, this is like what's going to look like first. We have the first floor entirely. The tops are going to be open like it is here. You see some of the headers above the windows. You see some of the headers above the 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 door here, double door. So these are the modules. You've seen that. There's house wrap that goes around that window detail this is what the actual names are there's top plate header cripples jack studs king studs studs bottom cripple now if you notice what we did now this and why this is old can you tell why this is old how different is this we subtracted about two big studs and probably something else but if you notice there's three of the tall vertical ones what we did in the next iteration is just to this is the sum of the design evolution we just split spread the header all the way across that allows you to save one of the big vertical studs well that's 12 bucks right there well more than 12 those those big uh two by sixes right now are more like 10 bucks so each so we saved two of those and we saved another one that goes under the window if you just take a look at this and examine how many parts we took out we took like three or four parts out and still made it well it makes it easier to build actually so that's that's good on all accounts uh, you can look at the parts there next is the door that's kind of how it looks easy double door once again we took out in order to look at how many of those vertical studs there are out on the sides there there's four like one two three four on each side we took a bunch of those out by extending the header all the way across and that allowed us to do some modifications which are not shown here there's upper sheeting that's the band that goes above the first floor that's that's what the lower roof now that's none of these cross members anymore it's just the ones that go front and back not the lengthwise ones this kind of blocking here you don't need it so we designed it um, Instead, we use these little metal clips, little clips that allow you, because th this blocking here is so that you uphold the edge of the plywood next to each other. Uh, you can do that, or you can do these clips that bond two, two pe one piece of plywood here and one there, and it holds them together. You'll see the details there, but once again, this is another example of simplification. It allowed us to get, a, get rid of 100 feet of 2 by 12. That's significant. Um, upper roof, and the upper roof is kind of this... Well, we actually went simpler than this. So we took, instead of doing all these tapered studs, because the roof, the roof, there's no there's such, such thing as a flat, flat roof. A flat, flat roof has a slope. slope. Our flat roof has a slope, slope of 4 inches over 16, 16 feet, feet, which looks it's flat, flat, but it's not flat, because uh, you want water to drain off it. Here you see the tapered studs. What we're actually doing right now is we took the whole roof and just shifted it at an angle with using a 2 by 4 on the other side. So it avoids the, this extensive cutting of all these ones it simplifies some some issues so that's that's kind of all I just wanted to show you what's what's coming there's the second story floor and then there's the roof and that's your house and then you got the the carport so it's a brief overview of the whole whole thing but you can see how you kind of get the picture of how it all fits together any questions on that is there um, there's OSB sheeting on the outside of the wall modules right yes OSB sheeting on the outside, and that's what provides the sheer stability. Those, um, after you bond the two panels together with lag bolts, the sheer, like this sheer, that's what, what the exterior plywood does. That's why, like, when we're talking about the studs, don't worry if they kind of, like, don't exactly fit, because the, ply, the, the plywood on the front is what gives it a lot of the structure. Like, if you have the, remember we've got, like, two or three screws at the bottom, yeah. um, on the bottom studs, well... 
the sheathing also goes over that to the t to the uh, what's called the sill plate, and then you screw the. That's why there's that one inch of overhang at the bottom. You screw that into the one that's actually attached with metal to the foundation. That's what gets you the uplift prevention because you can put like every six inches a screw, and that that exterior plywood is quite strong. It's five eighths, and with a good solid screw schedule, it's pretty solid. So if you think about it, four feet of it, if it's half an inch, it's, it's five eighths. But if it were half inch over four feet, that's like having a you know, like a two inch, another two inch bar over one foot equivalent, you know, just with uh, like uh, eight screws. Think about eight screws, two, two foot, uh, two inch thick piece of plywood stuck into the equivalent. I'm compressing that, that length into what would it shrink down to just to kind of think about what it, what, how much it can hold. Um, but yeah, like all those screws at the bottom screwed into it, that's, that gives it a lot of strength. Interior plywood gives it a little strength more because that's also screwed in, but that's more like trim screw, so it doesn't do a lot, it does some. Yeah. So we won't put those on until we stand up the wall modules on the foundation? We're going to put the exterior on now. Okay. And we're going to do the interior. No, not yet. Let's do some, uh, let's do more framing. Sure. Uh, let's get to the windows. Let's start the windows. And um, after that, we'll go through the layer of now we got the sh the uh, the house wrap for the windows. You also have to do this weather protective tape around the corners and like this corner flashing details, water details. Yeah. So there's a whole bunch there. Now now let's just kind of like do the framing since since we master that and kind of move to the next phase and building up the module to a full build. So, so let's do the windows. Uh, there's six six windows altogether. So it's uh, and those are more complicated. I mean, after you've, you've done the regular modules, it's nothing but just different length members. And if you have them all cut and you look at the picture, you see, oh, they can only fit one way. So as long as we get them cut right, it should be straightforward. Um, the blocking could use the spacers too. Uh, we can use the same spacers as before because, uh, once again, the utility channel is the same height. It's, that remains, uh, all the spacing remains similar to before, except on top, the header, no, the, there is no... Uh, that's where the plywood actually is going to end up at the headers, so we don't have the upper blocking on the outside, because uh, the header is going to be there. That's that's what the plywood would go into at the end. So let's do that um, after lunch.